The number one is Nicker 2470mm F28. In addition to being one of the most finely crafted pieces of glass in the company's lineup, the Nicker 24-70mm f2.8 also happens to fall into an incredibly useful focal length range, giving you the ability to shoot wide or tight at a constant aperture. The price is around $2,397. Check out the product link in the. There are 183 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.6 stars. A customer said. Incredible lens. This has replaced most of my other lenses as my go-to. I keep it attached to the camera always. Only when doing astrophotography have I switched out lenses, otherwise, it's this one. The images are crystal clear. The autofocus is excellent. The vibration reduction is a must-have feature for video especially, and it's a fantastic build with a premium feel to it. Super glad I bought this lens for my D850. Highly recommend it. The next product on our list is Sigma 150600 mm 563 Contemporary DG. Shooters who spend most of their time at the telephoto and super telephoto ends of the focal spectrum will get a lot of miles out of the Sigma 150 to 600 mm 5 to 6.3 Contemporary DG, which is an ideal choice for anyone headed out on safari. The price approximately $795. This product is rated with 4.7 stars from 1176 customer reviews. A customer said. The Sony A6300 plus Sigma MC11, Canon mount, plus TC1401 plus Sigma 150-600 contemporary, Canon mount, combination rocks. Sigma says the TC1401 does not work with the MC11, but my testing shows otherwise, A6300 MC11 plus 150-600 contemporary all AF modes work all focus areas work MC11 plus TC1401 plus 150-600 contemporary AFS and AFC work well focus areas, wide, spot, and flexible spot are available in moderate to good light, focus is quick and accurate, in lower light, AF is marginal, but MF works fine A6000 no AF with TC1401 MC11 plus 150 to 600 contemporary all AF modes work all focus areas work MC11 plus TC1401 plus 150 to 600 contemporary AF does not work. Another happy customer said, I agree with the other reviews here. I just received this lens yesterday, so this review is based on last night's test drive of some deer. What a fantastic lens. All of the samples here are at 600mm, at between f8 and f11. Late evening so used higher ISOs at 1000 to 2000. Using a Canon 70D, love this camera too. I also use a Canon 70 to 300L lens and I can say that the Sigma is actually a bit sharper at 600mm than the Canon at 300mm. Very impressive to say the least. I will expand on this lens after. The number 3. Nikkor Z24 70mm f2.8s. The Nikkor Z24 to 70mm f2.8s could very well be the best piece of glass for the company's new full-frame mirrorless lineup. It mimics just about everything there is to love on the DSLR version, with the addition of some great modern features. This product is available on Amazon for $2,297. Check out the link in. This product has average 4.8 stars from more than 71 customer reviews. A customer said. Images are incredibly sharp. Colors are vibrant. Large aperture f2.8 helps with low light shots and allows photographer to blur both foreground and background depending on zoom level and distance to subject. Fast accurate focus. No plus or minus focus adjustments had to be done and stored for lens. The next product is Nikkor 180400 f4e. A great choice for sports coverage, no matter your distance from the action. The Nikkor 180-400F, 4E boasts 8 extra low dispersion glass elements, as well as a useful memory recall function to keep your settings consistent. The price approximately $12,397.
The average rating of this product is 5 stars with more than one customer reviews, a customer said. I have used this lens for the last three months on my D850 and have never been happier. It's super sharp and super fast. The only complaint I have is on the lens cap. It comes with a slip-on fabric like lens cap with Velcro. I have wished for a regular plastic snap-on kind at least a 100 times so far. It's hard, frustrating and annoying to use. In addition, I left the lens resting on the lens cap on my yoga mat for a day and it left black disc of residue on the mat. I never thought Nikon would. The next one is Nikkor 70200 mm f2.8. The Nikkor 70-200mm f2.8 is the telephoto representative of the company's sought-after Holy Trinity of Glass, and it's one of the few models in its class that can boast near instant auto-focusing and a sharp image from one corner of the frame to the next. This product is available on Amazon for $2,797. The average rating of this product is 4.7 stars with more than 144 customer reviews, a customer said. The focus speed is easily 5x faster than the Tamron 24-72.8 I normally shoot with. It stays clear to the edge as expected. The focus speed made all the difference in the world when I was taking photos at an airshow. I had missed some shots the year prior using other lenses that didn't focus nearly as fast. It could focus on a plane in the time it took me to spot the blur in the lens, then held easily for zooming in for the shot. I have it paired with a D750 body. It is not a. Another happy customer said. What can I say? This is the best lens I have ever had the pleasure to use. I still can't believe how crisp and clear all of my images are. I see no barrel distortion or chromatic aberration. It is lighter than the previous model and has four stops of vibration reduction. You can remove the tripod collar or just the foot if you wish. The buttons work very well when I want to IUTO focus with those and then shoot with the main button, just like using back button autofocus. The bokeh in portraits is creamy and smooth and when. The next one is. Sigma 1424 mm f2.8. The Sigma 14-24mm f2.8 is a good choice for those shooters who spend most of their time working indoors. It can capture wide angles with very little barrel distortion, and its hood will protect the front element from damage. The price is around $1,199. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.4 stars from more than 75 customer reviews. A customer said. What I love, super wide without fish eye distortion sharp with wonderful color rendition f2.8 continuous aperture awesome build quality. Smooth focus throughout the range almost $1000 cheaper than Canon 16-35 to f2.8 what I don't love. While it features great build quality, this lens is heavy. I nicknamed it, Big Papa. That being said, I carried it, two bodies, and two other lenses around the woods for hours, so, it's not a deal breaker. Sigma has a real winner here. This is the first Sigma lens I added to my bag and I'm glad I did, a must have for my landscape photography. The next product is, Nikkor 200500mm f5.6e. The Nikkor 200-500mm f 5.6e is a great selection for use in bright, fast-moving environments, like wildlife preserves or even racetracks. Given its maximum aperture, anything darker than that may start to present a problem with its performance. This product is available on Amazon for $1,397. Check out the link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.8 stars with more than 641 customer reviews, a customer said. I never thought I'd say this about a $1,400 super zoom telephoto lens, but it is phenomenal. This lens is sharp. The VR is very effective as well. It allows me to hand hold the lens to below 1 100th s at any focal length and get sharp results, provided the subject isn't moving much. 
being able to focus on subjects close or far away and being able to zoom in or out is also a bonus. I shoot a lot of wildlife, birds in flight, surfing and so on, and needed a longer lens. I was using my 300mm f, 4D AFS plus Nikon 1.4 TCII, which. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.